let's go ahead and call Tom. Before we get started, yeah. we can get him on the line. And then we'll just have him wait while we go. Okay. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. The number you dialed has been changed, disconnected, or is no longer in service. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is this is the number he gave me yesterday. Yeah, it's okay. Two, Let me just see what I got. Six, nine, I don't even know if I have a phone. But I can get it. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. The number you dialed has been changed. Poop. Oh, well. Should I, 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 it's 602, I pressed a one. What's the number you have? Uh, 602-695-0210. Yep. That sounds right. That's what's on his application as right. well. Maybe without the one? No. You have to do nine. Nine. One. One. It's getting through to a number. Just say six, 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 zero, two, oh, That's one, crazy. Two. Hi, hi, Tom. This is uh, Kat. Hey, Kat. Okay, we have you on speakerphone. We're about to start the meeting, and, and oh, okay. so we'll have one item of approval of the previous meeting's minutes, and then w your item is next. All right. I'll just listen. Okay. Okay. Uh, good morning. I hereby call to order the November 13th public hearing of the City of Prescott Preservation Commission. Uh, members present at this meeting are, starting at my right, DJ Butkey. Gary Edelbrock and Russ Buchanan. On my left, Christy Hastings, and I am Trinity Shelton, chairwoman. This is, an, uh, we also have me, uh, present at our meeting here today, Kat Moody, the historic preservation specialist, and George Worley, planning manager. Um, and Darla Eastman. <laughs> This is an open public hearing is being videotaped and tape recorded by the city. The proceedings are being televised by representatives of the public media, local cable, and or radio stations and may also be rebroadcast. The number of commission members present is five. It will require four votes for a majority. All parties wishing to be heard on an issue are required to raise their hands and be recognized by the chairman, chairperson, prior to speaking. Speakers will be expected to state their name and address for the record so that we may know who is speaking and be able to contact them at a later date if necessary. Please turn off all cell phones or electronic devices and if you haven't already done so, please sign the attendance roster before leaving the meeting. The first item of, uh, on the agenda today is approval of the minutes of the October 9th, 2015 meeting. Has everybody had a moment to review the meeting notes? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Can we get a mo motion to approve the meeting minutes for October 9th? Madam Chairman, motion to approve the minutes of October the 9th. We have a motion. Can we have a second? I'll second that. Okay. All those in favor of uh, approving the minutes of October 9th, 2015 meeting, raise your right hand and say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nay. Motion passes 5 to 0. The second item on the agenda is HP 15-025 for 111 South Mount Vernon Avenue, Historic Preservation District Number 13 in Southeast Prescott. Um, the request is for approval of, for replacement of windows. Kat Moody is going to make the presentation, I believe, and we have the homeowner on the phone. Good morning. Good morning. This is a continuation of a request um, we reviewed uh, last meeting. The location of the home is at 111 South Mount Vernon. Had to grab a pointer. Um, the, the house sits on the east side of Mount Vernon and the request is for replacement of 
windows throughout the home, with exception of uh, the windows which have been more recently replaced in this bay uh, dormer. I'm going to show that on the screen. So these three windows will not be replaced, but the remaining windows in the house are being proposed to be replaced. The window um, type will be the same as the existing windows with exception of those in some bedrooms, which I'll point out as we go through these elevations on the house. Let's go ahead and start with this north elevation. Uh, the proposal is to uh, is to replace the windows on this north side on the lower level with um, a vinyl window uh, that would fit in the existing opening. The, the request to, for vinyl on this north side is due to the fact that this lattice fence work would be extended up uh, to um, nearly the front of the house here and then ivy would be planted on that and those windows would not be necessarily visible from the street. The other elevation where they are requesting vinyl replacement windows is the rear of the house, which is the east elevation. And so these windows would be replaced with a vinyl product window. And we do have the contractor here, and he has a sample of that window. So we'll discuss that once we go through the overall request. In the case where there's windows in a bedroom, these two windows marked E here would move from a double hung configuration to a casement in order to meet building safety egress requirements. That's going to be the same case in order to meet uh, egress requirements in the bedrooms. This is the front of the house and the, the windows marked A here are being proposed to be um, changed from a double hung configuration to a casement style window in order to meet that opening requirement for egress out of bedrooms. These windows would be a wood window <coughs> and so would these windows here. The windows marked C would be maintained as double hungs. Oh, it, did I reverse it? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah the, so the, the bedrooms are on the top floor. Sorry about that. And so this is casement C, and then these would be maintained double hung A. But these would all be a wood window product. And same thing on the south side here. This, uh, the windows marked A on this diagram would be uh, a wood window. And can I ask, Don, is this window here going to stay a horizontal slider, or is that going to? That's, gonna, that's going to go away. That's going, that's going to be two double placed back to the, what it was. OK, so two, two double, double hungs. Window. Yeah. Two okay. double hungs mold, mold together because of the width of it. So more like two of these, these together. yeah, put together here. Because this window was replaced at some point with a horizontal slider. And let me move over. And so it's aluminum. Yeah, so that was a non-original window to the house. So the, that's the proposal um, for all the windows um, that are going to be replaced. Hey, Kat, the only thing I would I would change or, or correct you on is that the in the northwest corner, that first window will also be a wood window, not vinyl. Even okay. though it's on the north side of the house, it's that very first the window the one on the in the right. same room. So we're going to keep that as wood also. So that's the window that's closest to the front of the house on the north yeah. side. Anyone who's listening, you're hearing the voice of the homeowner on the phone calling in. Can you state your name, homeowner? Uh, Tom Kunkowski. Thank you. And address? Um, uh, Prescott address, 111 South Mount Vernon. Wonderful. Thank you. And with... With that, as an overview, I'm going to turn it over to Don, who is the window contractor, um, and let him give it. Um, you, uh, you can go to the this uh, podium here. I have a quick question on clarification here. The the um, 
the agenda item we have here in our hands is the one dated from October 9th, so it's still not stating that the side windows are being requested to be vinyl, only the rear windows. Um, but the, we're, they are requesting that the north side windows also be replaced in vinyl at this point. Yes, that was the, the request. Um, it's the, the commission can decide you know, whether that's appropriate or, or not, given the circumstances. Thank you. All right, sorry about Thanks, that. no problem. Hi. State your name and address, please. Um, my name is Don. The uh, business address is 6616 East 2nd Street, Suite C in Prescott Valley, Arizona. Okay. Thank um, you. I guess, first of all, I'll tell you, I don't, the slippers or the, the, the sandals are not because I'm a beach bum. It's because I go in houses constantly and I take my shoes off. So uh, I appreciate you guys' concern uh, uh, for the historical preservation in that area. And I constantly see uh, where people haven't gone through this to go through and uh, and replace windows they just do whatever they want to do and and uh you know we we try to do everything right and at the same time if i'm not here to try to get you to do this on other houses or any approval i just want to uh, try to help tom out in this case and get a window that uh, meets what you want so rather than me try to lecture you about windows i'd rather maybe you tell me what your concerns are so that i can show you the appropriate window and what we can do uh, in, in the way of vinyl. It's come a tremendous way in being able to change colors and so forth, but nevertheless, uh, pretty much every vinyl window you get out there, you still have a white and tan or a variation of tan, period. Uh, you can paint some vinyl windows, uh, but it needs to be done by the manufacturer, and there are a few manufacturers that do that. Um, fortunately, I've been uh, uh, nearly 30 years in general contracting and remodeling, and so uh, I have availability to anything. Uh, that being said, the motivation for Tom in this case is certainly not to skirt anybody's um, you know, desire to make this historic. Uh, he's only looking at it as an energy efficiency standpoint. There isn't a window on the market that's going to be better than vinyl in that respect. Uh, the second is that more than half of the windows he has now don't even open. So that's a big problem for getting out of the house. And then, uh, of course, the uh, color uh, that you might have concern with. And uh, as far as the design goes of the existing windows, those top windows right now um, are vinyl. And they were done by somebody without a permit or anything, of course. Um, and he's not looking to change those. But to give you an idea from the outside, those are pure white windows. Um, and they're, uh, and they're vinyl. Um, so with that said, I brought two windows, two different manufacturers, one that's white, they're both white, uh, and if they weren't gonna be painted, that's the color that they would be. Uh, the style and design, uh, one of them is a, a little more expensive than the other, but it is, uh, um, has architectural design to it that isn't so much similar to that. And then the other one is more of a flat design. So with that said, I'll shut up and let you decide to, what to ask me. I have a question. What is the lifespan, expected lifespan, you know, of the quality of the, of the material for the vinyl versus the aluminum clad wood? Okay, so with Simonton, uh, S-I-M-O-N-T-O-N, the company's warranty, they've been in business since the 1940s, they've been making windows since the 60s. Uh, vinyl from them, is a double lifetime warranty. Uh, doesn't mean you can die and come back. I'm assuming they wouldn't argue, but uh, double lifetime meaning you and the next person, including peeling, cracking, fading, uh, as far as the vinyl goes. It also includes glass breakage, seal failure. Uh, everything on that window is under warranty, and, uh, and they question it. They never question it, no matter what it is, a scratch on the inside of the glass, uh, if the seal fails, all of that. The technology was revolutionized in about 2000. And um, so vinyl expectancy now is no problem. Um, where people seem to have gotten heartburn about vinyl is back in the 80s when Milgard was making their own vinyl. And uh, they didn't have the proper uh, mixture of vinyl and they were burning and fading and peeling. And, and uh, contractors said, I'm not getting that ever. And you know, you're not gonna change people's minds sometimes. So. In the way of uh, durability, there isn't, uh, there isn't a better product out there as far as that goes. And, and, and maybe that's just my opinion, but I've replaced thousands of windows. And, uh, and vinyl, 
the older ones weren't that good. Uh, Simonton is probably the best window. They have a thicker vinyl uh, inside throughout, uh, which I, I can bring and show you if you're worried about that. I didn't, didn't even think of that, but, uh, but in my truck I have corner samples that you can see the inside. Uh, and then I have the uh, lesser expensive windows, uh, carries a lifetime warranty uh, on the vinyl, but not on the glass. So. Thank you. Anybody? Yeah. <clears throat> if I could. Um, the reason we tabled this is we wanted to see those examples and Absolutely. have them in our hands because we had some uh, sight line uh, concerns. And uh, I do have a couple questions in regards to the. Uh, front wood replacement windows. Okay. Um, those have been identified, at least the lower ones, as truly double hung. Is that is that the case? Yes, it is. And is this an example? Of uh, the wood window, no. That was, uh, I didn't bring a wood window. I don't have one to bring in, uh, for one. Uh, secondly, that didn't seem to be a concern for anybody that we were using a wood with an aluminum clad and the color that matches what he has now. Well, the question was, is um, were you going to replace just the sash and or frame or the entire window itself with the, and, and the are, they, are, are they counterweighted? Are you going to be using the same counterweights or? Okay, so a block and tackle window, block and tackle counterweight is uh, pretty much a thing of the past. Right. In the exception that uh, in a single hung window, and uh, quite frankly, it's a piece of junk. That's why it always fails. It's about 25 bucks to fix it, every one of them. So today, uh, in Simonton, everything is upgraded. So uh, this isn't what you normally see, but this is a single hung window from them. Um, and there is no block and tackle, it's a uh, coil spring. It has the same balance up and down, so it will operate for a lifetime. Uh, however, this design comes in a single hung only. Um, what I like about it is that it's flat and it's narrow, and that's essentially what you see is that, except that there would be no track here. This would be you know, filled with a track fill. It's just, uh, uh, it looks like this. That, that's what the outside looks like. The double But it, but it would be truly double hung. It, it, sure. This one is single hung. It only comes in that. Uh, to be double hung, and that's why I wanted you to see one that's double hung, I can't get away from this architectural front. So if that was a concern and you like that, it doesn't come in a double hung, it's not available. It has the same exact mechanism, but it's, this is truly a double hung. Uh, so with the double hung, of course, you don't have auto locks and things like that but both windows operate. Uh, from the inside, it looks like this. From the outside, you end up having this architectural design. Yeah, and the concern was the sight lines, and uh, it appears that the true double hung has a less detailed and more, I guess probably the best way to describe it is a monolithically thick uh, sash line versus the single hung, which kind of looks like it's doubled up, it's it, it looks a little bit more detailed. Whereas historically, you know, we were looking for, I mean, the the design was that simple. Um, I know that we're we're kind of mandated to articulate or differentiate new construction from old construction, um, but that's generally in form and uh, material, whereas this kind of really wants, in my opinion, to be more true to the historic value. And uh, that being said, I, I do truly prefer to see the, the sight lines on the, the double hung. It's just a, a cleaner, simpler window. Okay. In appearance. Not a problem. This is actually uh Far less expensive than that. Really. I understand that the performance level is still the same. Yes. Um, my my real concern was the idea on the the wood replacement windows. Okay. Um, if they were double hung, there's always that uh, that little element on the upper sash, you know, with a little tail end. I don't know what you would call it. 
So that design on his house where he has that little uh, between yeah, the two we, windows? We, this commission has actually made great effort to see that or actually approve that type of design in replacement of those sashes, gotcha. the wood sashes. So uh, hopefully you can appreciate this. I've uh, looked at every win window that I can have available to me that has an aluminum clad. And the one that uh, the one from Semco is a much more plain design, looks just like that, but you can't get that corner detail. Whereas uh, Anderson, who makes a uh, Eagle series window, has a lot of architectural design in it that makes it completely different than what you see there. Uh, and again, doesn't have any doesn't have any way to add that you know plant on that. Uh, uh, architectural design between the top and the bottom sash. Uh, so from the street looking at it, what if you see in the diagram there, the one on the left was replaced and the two next to it have not been replaced. And the one on the left does not have those details where the one and that that used to be a door and the entire so you, yes. you're, you're speaking about this, yes. Correct. The entire thing was replaced. Um, even Mr. Konkowski didn't know that was replaced. Uh, and I told him, when I showed him, I said that these two have, been, have not been replaced. The one on the left has been. And the only thing you're missing there is that design. And I know you're concerned about that, but there isn't a manufacturer anywhere that makes it that I know of that I can find. Um, so Without reconstructing it yourself. I, I appreciate well, that. Well, yeah, without putting on some plant on corbel and you know I'm uh, I'm all about custom so if I can make it I can make it right. <laughs> if it can be made I can make it whether it's metal or wood well to a trained eye you can see the the, the difference in the yes. sight lines on the the one that has been replaced versus yes I can see it right yeah, yeah absolutely you, I mean, you, you see it I see it uh, the layperson may not but it does make a difference in the the overall appearance in my opinion Correct. Um, I am glad to see that the the vinyl does have a broader sash line um, that was that's always been a concern of mine and the only other question would be on the replacement casements okay they, uh, now they are they're they're broad casement yeah. is always broader uh, a vinyl and a wood casement look identical right uh, in fact um, I prefer them because they look more like the East Coast windows Midwest where wood windows are made. There isn't a wood window manufacturer on the West Coast. Yes. You know, they all come here, but that's why they take six to 10 weeks to get from, you know, depending on who you use. And, and they, it's very difficult to see the difference between the two. Can I ask a question, John? Oh, for this, yeah. um, for this, this window here, the double hung, which would be, you know, replacing double hungs with double hungs, this is the vinyl product what about the the continuity between the way this product is going to look from the exterior and the aluminum clad wood for uh, for the the areas where those windows are being proposed uh, if you were to put this window side by side uh, to me there'd be an obvious difference more because of color than style because it's a uh, snow white you know maybe not snow white but it's white and um, with this manufacturer I mean that's what we're going to have is white if you uh, don't approve this color then I have an answer to that well white's what's there now so I don't yeah it's it's kind of white yeah <laughs> it's faded white yeah it, it's uh cream I guess I'd call it so uh you know as much as Tom you know doesn't you know want to have to spend that and I don't want to have to spend that but uh it probably costs a couple of hundred dollars per window to paint it uh, and this isn't available but Simonton makes this window it looks identical to this it's called the Madeira series and it's available in nine colors one of them is exactly the color of uh, what the, the aluminum clad will be I don't have an issue with the the, the, the differentiating types um, as far as the elevation exposure um, because the entire elevation is all being treated the same um, you know there are those rare views where you actually see both at the same time but uh, 
it's usually in the shadow or in the the northern you know shade of you know it's in the the shade of the the northern light so you don't really see or perceive that level of uh, detail and and you are making this is Tom, if I can interject here um, uh, you know I really want the house to look right I'm I don't know if anybody's been by there, but I'm putting extensive uh, hardscape and landscaping in there. Uh, you went with patios and stuff, and, and the windows is is a big piece of this uh, as far as just getting that house up to uh, par. Um, but I want it to look right, so I'm, I've been very pointed with Don to make sure that you know whatever we're doing is going to number one look right, and number two be efficient. So even on that trellis side, you know we're, we're planting um, 13. Boston Ivy's either to, to hide that whole side of the building, so I don't have to look at the parking lot next door. And we've all, we've also installed some other you know plants to kind of make the place look nice. Um, so we're planting. I don't know how many square feet of grass and all that stuff I'm doing. So the windows is a big piece of it. Uh, the windows don't open now. I mean they're just ridiculous. And my wife is not you know she wants to open the windows and and they need screens and all that stuff. But um, uh, I'm more uh, wanting, wanting to look right. I would love to have that detail on there, but I, I, I found that to be impossible. I talked to under, other, other window people. Um, but I want to do the right thing with the committee also. I know a lot of people on that street are just doing their own thing, and I don't want to be one of them. I'm, I'm new to Prescott and just want to be, be part of the community the right way. And, and that truly does strengthen the argument with the screening of the north side. You know. uh, yeah, and that uh, I, Tom brings up a point that I just forgot. Uh, I uh, had told Tom that on the front, when I replace those windows, I'm going to replace them with, uh, everybody calls them different, or every manufacturer has their own registered trademark, but if you will, uh, clear view or ultra view screens. So you won't see the screen, it's very difficult to see the screen, but yet you have the screen for the modern person that actually wants to open their window and uh, not bring in everything from the outside. That was my next question. Okay, well, done deal. I'm, uh, you know, I'm all about, it isn't, to me, it's not about the money. It's about making it right. And when it's done, you know, everybody wants to make a profit in business. And, and at the same time, I want, you know, for two weeks, we're going to be out there with a 40-foot trailer and truck. And, you know, we want people to know that we're here. I'm new to Prescott, too, by the way. I mean, I've been doing business here four years. But, uh, but in the way of... Uh, but I try to say Prescott instead of Prescott, just to teach Tom. <laughs> but uh, we, we, uh, we do things right. We get permits for what we need, and we see the hackers out there, and using that term loosely, but they're out there, and there's a bunch of them. And uh, every Chuck in his truck, everybody with a hammer, and uh, somebody that's seen a window thinks they're a window guy, and, uh, or a framer, or whatever they are. And, uh, you know, my partner's 30 years, and I've been doing this for 30 years, so... Uh, nothing I've ever built has ever really, it looks the same as it does when I did it 20 years ago or 10 years ago. And, and I build things to last and I use products that are uh, built to last. And, uh, and I've, I've uh, conveyed that to Tom and I think he trusted me, uh, you know, with this. Uh, even though I missed last month's meeting, I apologize for that little miscommunication between Kat and I. But we're here now and uh, we want to move forward and, and uh, we're ready as long as we can meet all the requirements you want us to meet. Um, does anybody else have any in feedback on this or opinions? Well, the district requires the windows to be wood. And if we make an exception for this one, then we have to make exceptions for all. Well, and we have in the past approved vinyl windows on the rear and non-visible but the uh, other side uh, is visible and uh, can be seen. And frankly, I oppose the idea of putting vinyl windows in there. That's the first uh, house or building on uh, Mount Vernon. And anyone who turns up that street is going to see it. The other side being which? This north side? Yeah. The north side, yeah. So I, I, get th I think the applicant is, is suggesting that they're really not going to be visible once this lattice is extended and they're using wood for this first window here. That's the proposal, is to use the wood for that. And then the, the screened portions would be the request is for vinyl. 
But would it compromise our historic district if we approve vinyl? We approve vinyl for one, we have to approve vinyl for all. Well, not necessarily. Um, we have other examples of houses on Mount Vernon where vinyl windows were allowed to go in the rear or hidden elevations. I have to touch on what he just said and say, you know, we are supposed to encourage wood for replacement doors and windows in this district. That side of that house, while it is planning to be made less visible, is currently extremely visible. We just did trick or treating on Mount Vernon, and I'll tell you that <laughs> when you, you are really? driving, when you're walking up that street, you see those the front of the house and that side of the house are highly visible. They're up above the next property you can see them from you know the main road you can see them very well um, and having inconsistency between the front of the house and the side of the house it it is going to be a, I think it would be a challenge to make that kind of an exception in this neighborhood it would potentially set a precedence that we wouldn't want to have to continue to defend in the future um, I could see approving vinyl windows for the rear elevation, seeing as how, because of where the other properties are located and the houses on those other properties are located, you would really only see those from the alley. That is dirt, and you wouldn't be seeing more than one elevation at a time necessarily. Um, I, I could see potentially, I mean, I don't want to tell anyone specifically what to do, However, if we were to approve wood windows, uh, the aluminum clad wood, wood windows for the, um, the west south side and the vinyl for the uh, east side currently pending them creating an invisibility line along that side, it, it's a possibility, but I cannot see approving uh, vinyl windows on, on that. <coughs> incredibly visible side north side of that proper at that house at this time sir so uh my question to you would be about the upper loft that you see there yes uh has been replaced with hundred dollar home depot windows uh, i'm not on the architectural committee but if i was seeing that that's what i would be concerned about when i know for a fact that you're not going to see those side windows when that trellis is up. Even if you are, the front of the house is what you look at. And I understand that you trick-or-treated and you saw those. Uh, and you, of course, just like me, I'm gonna look at things that nobody else are, is looking at. My question to you is if Tom proposed to change the upper windows to wood and let in return that you allow him to do vinyl on those five that I see on the bottom, he would literally be spending about the same to do that as opposed to putting five wood windows in well we're not currently reviewing those top three windows and, and I do understand what you're saying um, unfortunately whomever replaced those top windows did it without bringing it in front of the board and we have not much that we can do about that yeah, at we're this not, point so right other than to rectify um, and I'm but, looking at a way to rectify that and make everybody happy and you guys get your highly visible windows in wood up top and he still gets vinyl on the bottom that work efficiently, open efficiently, and, and he can, you can't see them because of the trellis. Kat mentioned in our last meeting that there's something having to do with a historic, uh, with historic buildings that they are required to have aluminum clad wood or wood windows in order to maintain registry. Is that correct? There, it's suggested that when people replace windows, we always recommend an all wood window for national register listed homes. Okay. And I'm not doubting the quality of the product, just so you know. It's oh, no, I, I didn't think you were, product. but you, you do know wood windows, even brand new, like the one that's in there, it's very difficult to open and operates terribly because wood expands and contracts, and I have 20 years of making cabinets. And uh, we're talking expansion of every bit of a 16th of an inch which mm -hmm. makes it doesn't open mm -hmm. <laughs> you know so uh you know, they're, they're a thing of the past even though they're historic well we're working just, with uh, buildings of the past so uh, I know that, <laughs> I know that. To... and I'm, I'm very mindful of that and that's okay. why it, it it is an all wood window mind you it has an aluminum clad exterior Correct. only so that it uh, uh can maintain 50 different colors uh you know because it's a pot or 
powder coated, you know, all kinds of colors for the yes. exterior. I, and, I'm uh, just gonna. It, I'm unfortunately. I know that Russ is going to. Ha he has to leave. Oh. He. Um, so I'm he's sorry. got a conflict, and so we're yeah, left with I four of you on the. Thank you for hearing us out. Oh, you can. Thank you. Thank you for coming Thanks, in. Russ. Thanks, Russ. Okay, so we now have four committee members present, and it will take four votes to pass any motion. So we'll have to be unanimous. Nobody can leave anymore. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> Mr. I, yeah, I, 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 oh, go oh, ahead. Yeah, I'd just like to review this because I, I, I wasn't here at the last meeting, and I, 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 need, I need clarification on exactly which sides of the house we're dealing with here? Is this just the north side that we're concerned no, with? No, right we're now? dealing with all different. Well, no, I understand that. But I mean, are we kind of like okay with maybe vinyl in the back and then wood on the on the south and the? It and seems the like east? yeah. It's so the proposal is to do I mean, wood on the west. front. What, west, right? Yep, the west and south. wood on the south side. Okay. So that those are that's that's. That's okay. We're really the the two. So the, so the contention is just in. in la it's primarily this north side. I think it and sounds now, like. Yeah. Okay. For the most part, you. So what, from what I've heard, the the rear east elevation is being proposed in vinyl, and I mm -hmm. there hasn't been um, much discussion about that. That so it's really down to this north side of. Mm -hmm. okay. Miss Hastings, Got it. that is. Uh, yeah. That picture is taken from the parking lot of a real estate office. You can't get any further away from the house to take the picture because there's a parking lot. I live lot five doors up. I know. I know oh, this house. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I just, yeah. I thought mm -hmm. you were asking what side mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. that is. No, I just wanted to make sure that I knew exactly where oh, yeah. the contention is right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. What side? Yeah, just this side. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that, yeah, that seems to, and in the last meeting too, that was what came up essentially was this is the, the the initial application was asking for replacement of everything other than the rear to be in aluminum clad wood and uh, you know we had I don't know we didn't really get a chance to discuss that much because it had changed before it actually came in front of us to mm. the rear and this north side mm -hmm. being vinyl and mm -hmm. then the other two sides being wood mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know it so we're kind of in that we've got further information on it now, which is certainly appreciate Mr. Bucky. Yeah. Um, thank you. I, uh, the concern I, I, and this is kind of going along with uh, what our chairman has said was the idea that, you know, we, we do want to maintain integrity into this district and we don't want to set precedents, of course. Um, but on the same note, I, I, I hear, the owner and I hear the owner's uh, representative here today tell us that they want to do the right thing, maintain the uh, integrity of uh, the the home. And I was just curious why this presentation did not include those three most prominent windows on that bay side. Uh, those, the top ones, the top floor. The top ones. Right, because they were already replaced and they already operate and they already move and he had nothing to do with those and I had nothing to do with those. So I brought them up basically to try and maintain, you know, Mr. Edelbrock's concerns that the ones that you can see so prominently are $100 Home Depot windows. And I can change those out, but you know, obviously, Mr. Konkowski doesn't want to spend the money to do that when his main concern, his primary concern is his wife being able to open the window. And those open and work just fine, where the others don't. So uh, I, I would imagine, Mr. Konkowski, if, if the price was you know relatively the same, if, if I said those three windows, I can change those to the wood aluminum clad windows and these other ones to, you know, to offset the, the upgraded cost of doing that, keep those as vinyl, the D, the ones marked D in the representation there, um, you know, he, he may, would consider that, you know, six window. Oh, you're talking six windows in vinyl and three in wood as opposed to six in wood, it literally would cost be about the same price, um, you know, for his concern of that. And then you would get, in return, you would get three windows that are most prominent would be the wood with clad. Uh, that's 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 not the proposal in front. I of understand. Us. I'm 
Personally, I'd like so, to see so that. If I can speak, um, this is Tom again. Um, yeah, we, when we looked at replacing 31 windows at almost $1,000 each uh, with the wood, you know, the cost just got, you know, up there. So we were looking, okay, let's do the right thing. I understood it to be um, the concern was straight on looking at the house and at 245 degree angles to the home. I know the lattice is there, but there's nothing grown on it. You know, the thought from my aspect was we're going to grow something there. We're not going to look at that. When the growth is there, you only, you, you couldn't see the windows from a 45 or even looking at the elevation as you're looking at it today on those bottom windows. Yes, the top windows, we were like, well, we can do those later uh, within the budget. Let's get the bulk of them done now and uh, go from there. I don't um, necessarily have a problem putting you know, all wood on, on the um, north, west, and south facings. I, 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 we can do that. The cost is a little bit more per window, um, but to add three more windows, that's, that's where um, I, I kind of thought we would do those later. And, and just as a point uh, to, to speak to that, those windows at some point will probably be replaced considering they're a cheap Home Depot window. And so at yeah. that time, when that came before this commission, those could be converted to wood at that time. That sounds like the best solution in, so far. Yeah, I, I, I guess on those three, I'd want to already have the approval to do those in wood um, from this committee. So we're going to have to go back to committee. Okay. But, but to be done at a later time. And you started to say something about that, Mr. Bucky. I think you had said uh, personally before you, you know you stopped. You said personally, I'd like to see, and then that was it. But uh, I, I think I know where you're going. I, I wasn't trying to open a can of worms for Tom or you guys or anybody. I'm trying to, you know, do what makes common sense. Uh, the truth is, when you do stand at the street, you you just can't see that side of the house very well uh you know you have to get at a certain angle to see it and and it's very difficult to see if even possible to see the front and the side when you can view that side but you you know better miss shelton i haven't you know i've been there a couple times and i have looked at it but not from the the aspect that you guys are trying to look at it at but but again that loft is is obviously you know i i drive down the street more than just that house i look at other houses i'm like Hmm. No permit, no permit, no permit. Or you guys were just sleeping, and I don't think it's that's the case. So, mm. you know, people are out there doing it all the time, and we're trying to stop that. But I'm not going to be your police source either. So, um, you know, we'll we'll go through Tom's house and and do what you guys you know want us to do, and and um, we're all about maintaining the historic value. Um, regarding. Tom's request that we would um, potentially approve the replacement of those top three windows with an all-wood window, you know, now, although the work may not happen at till some later date, uh, we would, that, that is a possibility. It just needs to be clearly stated um, in the motion so that, because the request, request didn't include that originally, so it just needs to be very clear for the record what we're what you would all be approving uh, as part of that motion. Would, would that sound something to the effect with condition that we approve based on the future application? Uh, it would, you would be, uh, say, approving all wood windows for the north, south, and west side, including a future replacement of the top bay windows with a matching um, wood, all wood aluminum clad window, and then the vinyl on the rear. If that's it, it would save the step of, of reapplication. Of back in at the future yeah, time. and we could have that. Well, then you would have all three front viewable elevations consistently the same. So it would be setting the stage would, for that. Would there be any timeline attached to that? I would say like within the next like 10 years or something like that. You know what I mean? So that, so. That's I, in, somehow enforceable. Yeah. 
right? And not that you would have to replace them in the next 10 years, but right. if you're going to replace them within the next 10 years, it's covered by this. But then if you're, if it's outside of that window or however many years outside of that window, we need to see or see what you're going to replace it with so that we know it's legit. What five? It's, it's the conditions <laughs> are, we're inventing it as we go right. along. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Sure, that's that fine. It's the motion, but yeah. Uh, okay. Well, um, so it sounds like the north side, the front. Well, the three elevations, the front and both sides. You know, the only way to get all four to be on board with that uh, is that that's a wood window with a aluminum clad, and and uh, is that what I'm hearing? That would get my vote. I okay, believe and that I think that's be the because of what we are asked to keep in mind when we're approving windows for replacement in these neighborhoods mm -hmm. I think that that's going to be what makes the commissioners the most comfortable okay um, and you're comfortable with the back being a vinyl I think we can well we'll see based on a vote but um, <laughs> I would assume that because in the past and because of the very low visibility of the rear safe to say correct so we'll see how this vote turns and out that's but the, the the vinyl option is always really a function of cost containment for the most part, right? Uh, I'll be honest with you. It's, uh, the performance is the superior. The performance is, 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 I mean, I can actually get, uh, I can actually get this window in a triple pane. Right. I can make the performance essentially like looking through a wall. So where it's just not possible in wood, there's too much wood. The thickness of the frame of the wood makes it impossible almost to get, you know, the performance uh, of, of the glass and, you know, so, so on. So it's not just, of course, cost, but, but when you start to upgrade a vinyl window to that, you end up the cost of a wood window anyway, or darn close. Um, and also the warranties don't come with wood windows. They're 20 year prorated and not lifetime, nothing on the frame, pretty much 10 year maybe. Uh, things like that. So I know I know that's a concern when somebody takes on this. Um, you know, they don't want to do it more than once, usually. Re in regards to our our last meeting when we were discussing if the casement windows were replaced, that they wouldn't necessarily require mullion. Do we want to address oh, right. that? <laughs> I hope you're okay with that. <laughs> no, we. I I don't know. We'll see if we want to include that as part of a motion stating that. How, how is it proposed presently? I think it's proposed right now to not do that that false uh, so. mullion across because at the last meeting it seemed like there was a, no really no support for that, and it was actually creating a false sense of historicism. Yeah, and it, it, so it, it, I mean we were actually shown a, I think a, a brochure of those different actually they're muttons because it would just be correct. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I think there was and, agreement. And I think we were kind of pushing the, in favor of the idea of yep. not seeing that just because of the, in, you know, the false integrity. Yes, right? I, I believe that that was generally the consensus. So the proposal, the way it stands, would be casements are just casement right. windows the way they come. Right. All right. Without, and they, uh, without mo in a wood window, they have to be 28 inches wide with a minimum or with a. Uh, with a uh, max clearance hardware in order to achieve the, uh, the 5.7 square feet, uh, 20 inches west. wide, 24 inches tall, yes. with a tw in order to meet current egress codes. Um, so, uh, so what you would see there in that picture is the top wouldn't have the center bar uh, because they would be casements rather than uh, double hungs, and they would meet the requirements of egress uh, because they I know that they're at least 28 and three quarter wide. So they'd make it by three quarters of an inch. So, oops, so you're up to speed on that because I know you weren't here last time. So that was the idea was that because those top ones are going to be replaced with casements rather than the um, sliders, then you can, they won't have a mullion or mutton potentially. So, okay. DJ, I, would you like to make the motion? Yeah. Any coming. fancy? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're the ar I'll, I'll, you're I'll, the architect. I'll, I'll yeah, give it a whirl. The yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. I'll be more than happy to second it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's if I get the verbiage right. Right. That is correct. <laughs> Let's give her a try. No pressure, right? <laughs> yeah, really. Hey. Oh. 
jeez. Okay. Um, Madam Chair, we'd like to make a, a, mo a motion to approve with modifications HP 15-025. Uh, the request to approve vinyl windows on the vinyl casement windows on the east rear side and uh, only on the top floor only on the top floor right. and on the southwest and north well i'm going to stop you right okay. there so the request the request is for vinyl windows on the rear east elevation Casements will be the original. replaced in the two bedroom windows on the top floor. Uh, and, and then you'll have a similar situation on this west elevation as well. I would, I would, I would, where I would head with this uh, would be the request as it's written, the original request includes the wood windows on um, the the three sides, yeah. as you've the been south, discussing. Southwest That's and the north. Too, the right. Original. So the actual original request pretty much has all the elements. The only thing that's not in the original request, as it's presented here, is the approval of these windows for future replacement in a given time frame with matching all wood aluminum clad. Yeah. So I don't know that you need to spell out every specific window type because the request spells those out. The request right now reads, um, well, your, it is, reads a single hung Anderson Eagle all wood with aluminum cladding on south and west sides. I don't know if that's still the same. It's different now because it's double hung. So uh, those are double hung on the on the south and west sides. Double hung. So we want to see double hung. Yeah. Uh, and then double hung all wood aluminum cladding on the north side. Casement all wood aluminum cladding on second floor on the west side that it, I would omit this the Anderson Eagle component and then double hung vinyl on the rear casement vinyl on the rear and then the casements don't require a mutton and then that well they weren't even it proposed. wasn't on here yeah that was an option that was presented as an option okay. and then you'd have to include the the three future well, I think a 10-year... Uh, so that would be the second-story windows on the north side? Yeah, yeah. correct. It is my opinion that the 10-year uh, time frame, uh, Madam Chairman, is a little too long. You think? I do. Okay. I do. Well, I, let's I, reel it in then. Three to five I can live with, but uh, 10 is not how something about, I would pay for. five? Yeah. Yeah, and, five? and five, within five years, okay. um, with our, our approval, without a future application. Mm-hmm. Beyond five Ooh, years. This is going to be a mouthful, but well, that's I, what we do. I <laughs> wish I knew how to do it. I'd do it for you because I know read, Windows. I'm going to read this with <laughs> the, what modifications that we've we've actually indicated. <coughs> and it, really, it's this though. Couldn't you just say approval as as, as stated proposed with with, with modification with, for well, the with except that one, it does say Anderson. Yeah, I wrote the, it. Oh. the, yeah, the I, brand so change. So I think he probably should read through the list okay. here, omitting okay. the Anderson yeah, Eagle. Single. single versus double. Okay. Yeah. I'll go ahead and read. Okay. This. So, do we have a motion? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have one. Yeah. I'll entertain one. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Rutke. Yes. Mr. Rutke. Okay. Here we go. Motion to approve with modifications HP 15 025. Request for. Uh, double hung all wood aluminum clad clad windows on the south and west sides double hung all wood with aluminum cladding on the north side 
casement all wood with aluminum cladding on the second floor of the west side double, double hung vinyl windows on the rear of the home on the east side casement vinyl on on rear of home on east side and with the modification for within five years uh, approval of future all wood aluminum clad replacement windows for the upper north elevation check that is your motion, sir? Yes. I would like to second it. All right. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor of passing uh, <laughs> um, with the modification presented, what is it? HP 15-025, raise your right hand and say aye. 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 Any opposed? M motion passes 4 to 0. Thank you so much for your time today. Wow. And thank, thank you, you for your time on the phone there. Mr. Concus. All right, thank you guys. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks. And Don, sharpen your pencil. What's that? Sharpen your pencil. Uh, well, fortunately, I only have a pen. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you later. We'll talk later. Thanks, guys. Thank, thank you, you sir. sir. Thank you for your understanding. All right. Oh. We're done with that. Okay. Um, next item on the agenda is the update of current events or other items of note. Ms. Moody. And um, the only thing I have, uh, which is very minor um, at this point, is um, we did send out mailings to the West Prescott Historic District uh, for the historic home tour for next spring. And we're starting to get responses back. But we have it, it hasn't been enough time to, um, they still have all the way through no November to uh, respond to that so we'll see if we end up with a home tour in the West Prescott Historic District Great. next spring Wonderful. and that's it that ought to be fun all right um, anybody else have anything of motion to adjourn <laughs> <laughs> okay well that's the first um, all right so I hereby adjourn the meeting of November 13 2015 Prescott Preservation Commission thank you well done, Trent. <laughs> so, George.